A survivor from Wednesday night's dog attack in Northeast El Paso is now coming forward with his story. ABC 7's Jason McNabb has new details from the attack, and we want to warn you that some of you may find this video disturbing. I tried. <laughs> I tried the best I could. This is Tyler Marquise. Halfway there. <laughs> Getting better. He's being called a hero Thursday by his friends and neighbors at Heritage Mobile Home Park after he stepped between attacking dogs and an elderly woman. He sprinted to the woman barefooted across thorns and gravel after hearing her call for help. When I got over there, the woman, um, I guess the dogs pulled her pants down. I was trying to get her inside, and then that's when the dog what I remember grabbed me from her arm and yanked me back and we I was just trying to get her inside. They were on top of the thing like and then they were just biting and biting and biting and it was a chaotic mess of trying to just stay alive. He was bitten on the face, arms and legs. Another neighbor ran over to help as well. She was also bit. Marquise explains how the two of them ended up on top of the playground set. Because they were still biting us, they were biting her, that's why she got at a crazy angle like holding onto the tree. It was either the tree, a house or a car that we could have done and I didn't want to go in her house because I was just dripping. The other girl was dripping and we, yeah there was no place to us to go besides right there. El Paso Animal Services told us that the three dogs are in custody and in quarantine. They also said this is the first call they responded to involving these dogs. That I know of right now with the information I have available, these canines We've never responded to calls on these canines. According to a neighbor, this isn't true. Those three dogs before over here? We've seen them We've seen them running loose a few times. We've called animal control. They don't do anything. He then explained the problems he's had with animal control in the past. You try to call the park, and the park tells you you have to call animal control. Okay, well, I understand that. There's only so much they can do. They have to stay within the law. Animal control says, well, there's nothing we can do. If they do catch a dog, they call the person who owns the dog, they pick it up, and then they immediately release the thing again. And that was Jason McNabb filing that report. Police have still not confirmed the names or the conditions of the other two victims in that attack. We also asked El Paso Animal Control for more information, and they declined to comment as this is still an active investigation. ABC 7 asked them how long these investigations usually take, and they said anywhere from one to a few days.